Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Mark Summers. And I'm Bonnie Montgomery. Welcome to our home, Bargain Hunters Lookout. We're going to see what happens when antiques expert George Way and Mark Summers look for hidden treasure at a flea market. Yeah, fun. And whether your family has the potential to be another partridge family or not, we're going to show you how you can all make beautiful music together. Oh, yes, well, yes. Oh, okay. And strolling through the park will be a breeze once you see Consumer Reports' top stroller picks. Oh, yes. But right now, get ready to brush up your manners with our favorite etiquette expert, Hilka Klinkenberg, so please wipe your feet, bring a nice gift, and come on in to our home. During the year, do you go to parties a lot? Oh, uh, p parties, but not necessarily fancy cocktail parties. Very rarely. As, as the holidays approach, uh, we tend to go to these things, and, and we're going to teach you today a little bit about elegant cocktail parties and elegant manners, right? Do, do you notice that when you dress up, you sort of behave differently? Talk differently? Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah, stand a little straighter. Okay, but when you're dressed up like this, how do you balance a drink, uh, hold a paper napkin, have a sloppy hors d'oeuvre, and make polite chit-chat all at the same time? Just ask etiquette expert and the author of At Ease Professionally, our good friend Hilka Klinkenberg. Hilka, welcome. Hello. Thanks for you coming. Look so in. You look wonderful. You're both welcome so you. Welcome to our home. Oh, oh, thank yes. There you go. Now so I nice have a question to, to start here. things off. I yes. hate these things. Okay. I know. <laughs> and I hate the them on my, on my wardrobe. So is is it uh, proper when you go to a party to say uh, thank you and hold it and and not put it on? Not or? really. No. If everybody's wearing a name tag, you should too, because the point of the name tag at that point is to help everybody introduce one another. Except I would like. I'd like to do this, Mark. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is when I meet you and we shake hands, I'm looking that way. I'm following the line of the uh, eyes. And that way I get to look at your face and read your name tag at the same time without going like oh, that. Gotcha. Yeah, so the right side is the it's proper. It's the right side. Most people do put it on the left because it's easier see. to do that because we're right handed. You know, we mm -hmm. look in the mirror. Sure. But the right side is the proper place so that your hand, your eye follows the so, arm right okay, to the Okay, nice tag. to meet you. Mark, oh. it's a pleasure. Ah, see how that works? Right. You and your name is? Oh, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there some special way that we should do the handshake or the greeting at a cocktail party? If say we don't know somebody. But you know what, what happens at a cocktail party? I and mean, basically, you're shaking hands. Uh -huh. But what happens is that we're usually all loaded down. We've got drinks in one <laughs> hand, hors d'oeuvres in another. Right. Let me show you a fabulous trick here. OK. Have a napkin. Sure. Mm -hmm. Goes in between the ring and baby finger. The ring and baby finger. On okay. your, in your left on hand. On the left hand, yet. Yes, okay, because you good. shake hands with your right normally. Okay. Now, the plate, you balance on the middle and ring finger. Like this? Yes, and okay. stabilize it with your index finger and thumb. OK. And the glass goes right here. And oh you can my. do that with either a highball glass or a stem glass. Look at this. And you see you've got everything in one hand. Now, if Points. I have an hors d'oeuvre, whoa, if I have an hors d'oeuvre here, I can How take a that? bite, nor do. I do. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, how do you drink this? Well, yeah. No, 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 no. You take it. You take it. <laughs> <laughs> you take it in your right hand, but then you put it back. You so take your hors d'oeuvre, you take a bite, you put it back. Wow. You take your na oh, here I'm getting a bit. You take your napkin, you blot your mouth, and you put it back. Okay. That way, and my hand is always free to meet you, uh, to greet you though, okay. and just to shake hands. The other thing that happens is that you never give anybody one of those ice cold wet handshakes right. from the drink, you know, especially when you have a mixed drink with ice cubes in it, and it's all wet and gooey. Yeah. Now, if I sometimes when you go to a party, and look, if I would see Bonnie and I hadn't seen her for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. My tendency, because I'm a touchy-feely kind of person, would be to hug. Mm -hmm. Is that improper? It really depends. If you're in a uh, social situation, no, you behave that way. But if it's a business social situation, mm -hmm. the proper way to greet people is with a handshake. Really? Not because, because this thing. no. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> because that Hollywood air kiss. Yes, that does happen. Yeah, that does happen in the arts and in the entertainment yeah. industries and fashion industries a lot. But in a business setting, really, you don't want to be touchy feeling mm -hmm. with somebody because you'll be meeting strangers that you don't want to do that with and you have to treat people equally in a business situation. So save that for good friends in a purely social situation. Okay. Now, how many times have you seen this at a party? You see the guy does this. I hate that. Yeah, I won't Shut those touch hands up. Yeah, I won't touch terrible. dip at a party, right. I don't blame you because oh, really? you only dip once. And if you don't get enough on your that's too bad. You uh -huh. don't dip you don't re dip. 
You don't scoop no. and put it on there, the plate? If there might be uh, something on, there might be a spoon that you could put some on your plate and then right. you keep dipping in your plate. That's a different story. But you'd never put it back in the no, dip. It's, okay. it's really unsanitary. It's kind of disgusting, it is. isn't it? Ooh. Would you join me for dinner at the table, please? I would love oh, to. What do we do with these things? Uh, here, just we, put why them don't we anywhere? Put these down? Put these down? I mean, again, just at a party anywhere? You just how do you pronounce this? Or do. Or do. Okay, good. Let's move okay. over here and have dinner, okay? Dinner. Okay. <laughs> dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> join us on this side. Now, we just. Have taken this off. Now, you know what I should have done? I should have seated the ladies, shouldn't I? I just realized do, do that. Do people still do that? Well, in social situations, not in business situations, okay. unless, of course, the person is the client or the um, the boss. Okay. But in a social situation, men do that. Yes, they do that still. All right. So there so, is a difference, you see, between social etiquette and business etiquette, okay. which most people don't realize. All right. Now, we are here with the salad, and we have two things already that are difficult to eat. One is olives that occasionally mm -hmm. have pits, and cherry tomatoes, which sometimes you put in your mouth whole, right? And you, they squirt in your mouth, but what's the and problem? And on other people. Yes. <laughs> well, make sure you close your mouth before you bite into right. it. Put it. Put it in your mouth whole if you if possibly can. I'm, some of these are a bit large. It would have been easier if they had been cut. Okay. But what you would want to do, yeah, there we go. Is the when you. Well, by the way, when you spear them, don't spear them that way because you're likely to go pshing, right across to Bonnie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you want, oh, try to down. do it straight down because you're less likely to have an accident that way. Or if you're using your knife, then you could use your knife to stabilize it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But normally one eats a salad with just the fork. So okay. you know, although you know, fork and knife are acceptable as well. But go from the top down. Now with the olives. Yes. Now these, I think we were, we lucked out. They don't have any pits. But if they do have pits, then you, they come out of your mouth the same way they went into your mouth. Ah. So what you would do is use your one hand to cover your mouth, because it's not particularly polite to show you going like that to somebody. And mm -hmm. you know, perhaps turn just aside a bit, put it on your fork, and then put at the side. So not just take it out with your hand. <laughs> no, not with your finger. Now, if you were using them for, if you were using them for hors d'oeuvres, then you would hold it. Using them for what? If you had an hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres, okay, thank you. Yes. Then you would take, I'm just going to reach over yeah. here if I may. What you do then is eat around the olive mm -hmm. and lay it down. Okay. Okay? Great. Sounds good. So that would be easy that so way. So we are going to pretend that we have completed our salad, and I believe our waiter, uh, Matt, uh, we will refer to yes. him as Matthew, will come we over here now. The salad. And we're going to re have the salad pretend. removed. Okay. <laughs> And uh, now the gentleman is serving us, oh, pasta, which oh, is one of the most wow, difficult things to eat, and lobster, which you oh think my. of as finger food, but is it really? It's a combination. When you, eat a whole, when you get a whole lobster like that, if it's not pre-cracked, you do have to use your hands. Oh, boy. Now, ideally, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier if they've cracked it for us in the kitchen, but if they haven't, then you do have to use your hands to do that as well. Okay, now, in which I, case, you'll be, served a, you know, you'll be served a finger bowl or something afterwards. On pasta, Bonnie, do you cut your pasta or do you oh, twirl it? I definitely cut my pasta. Yes. It's a lot easier, Bonnie, if you don't. Oh, really? Well, it really is. Okay. What you want to do with your pasta uh -huh. is take just one or two strands and then just do along the, the side of the dish. Don't take too much. Don't take them from the middle, but just turn it around and eat it. Now, it's a lot harder to do that if you have a little piece. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, that's, that's harder, though, Mark. No, no I don't you know. You want to do, Bonnie, take yeah, it from the side. Now, what do you do in that situation? Yeah. Because, you see, if I took it from the middle, uh -huh. I'm going to get a whole lot. <laughs> okay. If I take it from the side. Just one. Just a fork one. Just get one strand and then twirl. So help her. <laughs> oh, boy. That's, okay. Uh, you keep twirling, Ooh, Here we Mark. go. Here we go. You keep twirling. Well, very attractive. Um, <laughs> Look at this. Let me see you do it. Let me see you do it. Do this. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it is work, isn't it? Look at this. No, it's just it's fairly simple. Yeah, see, it's not that easy. You just twirl it a bit. It takes oh time. Well, meals should be eaten slowly. So you just yes. take your time doing that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to be go. watching 30-something here before we get done. Uh, <laughs> oh, see, now, look, look at it. You know. <laughs> I feel much so better. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay. It's a class act. Oh, and, and now yeah, what do we now do now with, the, with the lobster here? It's really oh, hard to watch you and eat at the same time. Mark. It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> so now about the lobster, how do we do this? We, we've got 30 seconds to talk about pulling off lobster claws here. Okay, the first thing you do is take off the claws, okay. break them off the uh, joint. Uh, there. Oh, good. And be and careful that they don't water leak. Then okay. you blot it with a napkin. Then you crack the lobster. Like this, huh? This is a fat one. Doesn't want to go in here. Just crack it in here. 
And then. Oh, there you go. Oh, that, oh my goodness. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> Not sloppy at all, is it? Yeah, these are juicy uh, lobsters. It's, it helps if you let it run out a bit there first. Yeah. And these are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's what you don't do. <laughs> Mark, I am sorry. Yeah. I have a <laughs> Where did you find these lobsters? In the ocean, I believe. <laughs> about it. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more about it, Hill Kids Etiquette Tips, God knows you would all like to. It's all going to be in the newsletter. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs>